Hello and welcome to Jeanette's TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke. We are live on location at the Toronto Fall Home Show to talk about tiny houses and lane houses. And our first guest up is going to talk to us a little bit about what she brings to the table. Welcome. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. That's right. Hi, I'm Ashton Norhassen and I'm with uh, the Toronto Home Shows. And it's so great to have you. So a lot of people may recognize you because prior to you doing what you do now, yep. you had a very big career as a journalist and broadcaster. That's right. Uh, most recently on the Shopping Channel. So I was national on there. I was also on the Weather Network. I also did some reporting uh, in the Toronto area as well as in through Timmins too. That was my uh, first uh, on-air job was actually up in Timmins. What advice do you have for young people or people like myself getting into media today and making it work. Oh my gosh, Jeanette, you know this through your experience too, is whenever somebody says no, you just keep fighting and you keep doing it because no matter what, if you've got it in your heart and you've got it in your mind and you've got the proper mindset, you can absolutely do it. I believe that. Because <laughs> yes, look but how far you've come too. I know, when you said about you got to have it in your heart and your soul, you do because it's so easy to get those no's and have those doors closed in your face and you really got to be passionate to keep going. Absolutely. And they don't just close those doors. They actually get slammed in your face, right? Slammed. But you can't. Yeah. That, uh, you, can't. you can't. You can't. So let's talk a little bit more about the kitchen stuff that yeah. you're really good at that. And I really appreciate what you do because you're all about space. That's right. And what women need in, in the house often, in the, especially in the kitchen, is a lot more space. So can you talk to us about some of the strategies you employ in kitchens to make sure we get the space we need when we're cooking? Oh my gosh, absolutely. I think the number one rule is whenever you bring a packaged item home, make sure that you open it up, pop it in a container and label everything. Labeling is key. Because once you've got those labels on there, you can pop it into your pantry and everything is organized and it looks beautiful too. And I think that that's a huge thing too, Jeanette, is that if it looks visually appealing, you're gonna like it and then you're gonna make more space for what it is that you need. And speaking of that too, when you see what you have in your pantry, you won't be spending the extra cash to buying extra bulk items because you didn't know you had it all the time in your pantry. True. But what I'm finding also as a trend, not just with the tiny houses and the laneway houses that we're talking about today, but in general, you know, when we go and buy properties like yes. um, condos, they're much smaller than they have been in the past. And I'm finding that, you know, the entire space is small, but in particular, kitchens are very small. They're mostly like galley style kitchens. And it's very hard to make good use of a galley kitchen in terms of, you know, there's no there's nowhere to move sometimes, right? And there's certainly not a lot of space for eating in. Mm -hmm. Um, so do you have any like recommendations on how to set up the kitchen, like a galley kitchen or uh, something that does not have an eat-in space to get the most of it? Absolutely. Um, a lot of the times you're going to have to use your countertop the best way that you can. So the number one rule is, is to make sure that everything is off of that countertop, especially when it's appliances. Make sure that you can hide them in spaces. And when you're buying appliances, you want to buy the smaller ones as well too. Now when it comes to eating and entertaining, this is where you've got to be multifunctional. Sometimes you need to pull out that fold-out table. Now while it might look unsightly, all you need to do is just put a lovely little little table cover on it and you know what Jeanette a little vase with some beautiful flowers they go a long way too to make it feel like home right and okay now if we need extra space because you're saying hide things put the yeah. appliances and sometimes there's is there's not enough cupboard space to do that type of thing so we have to go and look at bringing in outside covered space uh, or baskets or you know things of that nature um, how can we make the best out of that how can we utilize that? Absolutely. With the use of baskets, you can use that. And you're going to have to kind of do multi-purposing for, for some of the cupboards that you have in your home. And also what I do sometimes, I'm going to tell you this, I sometimes use the oven, pop it open, and then stuff the extra stash in there as well too because that's usually helpful. 
Well, that works. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It does. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. You know, we see these commercials, the company's coming, the company's coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. it is. It can be stressful, you know. And, and making a Thanksgiving dinner in a small environment can be very stressful. Oh, absolutely. And um, I've done it and I know what it's like. But the thing is, too, is you need to ask for help because there is only so much that you can do in your home. And during those special occasions, a lot of people, they do want to help out, too. So take advantage of it. Okay, so I just mentioned making dinner. And we know that you're, like, amazing with cooking and recipes. And I would like to know what your new latest recipe is coming out. Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm working on it right now. It's kind of like a little twist on a butter chicken. So I'm just kind of working out the details right now. And exactly, I still need some taste testers too. So maybe you can help me taste test one day. Okay, well, you know, I, ha I love food. I have to, like, really curtail it because <laughs> I'll gain a ton of weight. But um, what's your favorite dish of all time? Oh, my goodness. Okay, favorite dish of all time has to be my sister's lasagna. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Jeanette, it is just absolutely beautiful. It is so tasty, and she says it's the easiest thing to do, but no matter how many times I try her recipe, it just doesn't turn out the same. Can I, can I confess? Okay. Uh, I don't cook at all anymore. <laughs> at all. And I used to be an awesome cook. Oh, my gosh. And I come from, you know, women that cooked yes. and made everything from scratch. But my sister is a much better cook than I. And I, I, I will not, like, compete <laughs> with her. Because she can cook and bake, and I was only good at cooking and never baking. Oh, you see, like, the baking, I never got into the baking, but this sister also does baking, too. So I will keep saying she's the best baker ever in hopes that she keeps bringing over more baked goods my way. <laughs> okay, so now we want to hear a little bit more about how we can get in touch with you and if you have anything that you'd like to promote we like to turn it over to what we like to call the shameless promotion oh uh, before we close out the segment. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you do want to get in touch with me, all you have to do is just see me on Instagram and it's at always Asha and just DM me and I'll be more than happy to touch bases with you. Well, it's been a pleasure, Ancha, uh, interviewing you. And of course, you know, with your experience, I really consider this a, a true gift. And thank you so much for being with us today. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts with all the gals in your life and the smart men. You will find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Vimeo, YouTube, Twitter, you name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette's TV. And until next time, continue to be fabulous.